Hey guys, I'm going to start this little video that I'm working on. I'm actually um, working on it to post here pretty soon, but I still have a little bit of stuff I want to add to it. But I thought while I was waiting for everybody to get here, I'd just like run through it. I don't have any music on it yet or anything. But I figured it would be a way to start the stream. Oops, that's not what I want to do. Just trying to hit the hit that. And then I was trying to find my stream to put up so I can watch you guys. My channel. And. Okay. And there's my stream. Hey, cat. Hi, grasshopper. Hi, Bob. Anthony. Hi, Anthony. <laughs> Are you going to come up, Bob? I know you got your big um, thing tomorrow. I wonder where, um, I don't see Ed here yet. Go on Facebook and see if he said he's if he's coming or not. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. And Ed has not even seen the link, so he might not be around. I don't know where he might be taking a nap or laying down or something. I assume Blackie and Ed will come up after a bit. Hopefully. And there's a link at the top if anybody wants to join me. Hey, Andrew. <laughs> I see Bob. Bob. Howdy, howdy. So what's going on with you tomorrow? You have a thing at the, like a, a ARC puppy yeah. option thing or? No, it's a, uh, just the volunteers are going to get together away from work, so to speak. And, uh, oh, okay. We're going to my friend uh, Abby and Dale's house. And they have like a big A-frame uh, over in the next county, actually where Ed lives, not too far from Ed. And we're all going to meet up there and have haystacks. You know what those are? It's like, no. a, it's kind of like lasagna, but it's, and like taco salad kind of thing, but it's going to be vegetarian or you can add turkey to it. That sounds mm -hmm. good. Yeah. You can wait in the pool. Like a, uh, in the pool. Barbecue for all the volunteers. Yeah, vegetarian. What kept you warm? Trash cat, hello. I've just started, uh, I didn't realize it was this late, so I just started to separate my mice because they're starting to act kind of hunchy, humpity, humpity. You better be Bob. What? Undressing. Oh, I said I was coming in a second. I was undressing. Trash cat wants a PG. Y'all are no fun. Laramie's messed up the overpass by the Petro. Ah. Andrew, howdy, howdy. Somebody asked me if I had any cards available tonight. 
Laramie is messed up on the, yeah, I've been seeing that. Yep, it's, it's, Wyoming has two seasons. We have winter and we have, have, um, road construction. And we are well into road construction now. <laughs> Winter is over and we are into road construction. Trash Cat met some of the fish fam. Oh, cool. She went to one of the shows. Oh, yeah, I saw that. The, um, the cat Cataclysm. Yeah. Yeah. Whips has been posting stuff and Austin. Uh, Danikin's there. I'm trying to remember. Sam Scales is there in his art. A lot of people, some people I used to buy food from there. Hey, Vic. I just saw Trash, uh, not yeah, Dusty, it is live. He just went live about five minutes before you. Oh, good. But good. I did, yeah, he said, I'm back, sort of, LOL. But, I didn't stay long enough. Yeah, you're kind of breaking up a little bit, Bob. Damn it. I can't put my finger over that microphone for anything. Nope, you probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> hey, Mojo. Mojo Lincoln. Green River. Oh, my God. I gave... Uh, Pretty Boy Floyd, like a real, real thin slice of orange that was just a garnish on top of some orange glazed chicken I got at the deli. Yeah. And he ate it, and he took it. He takes all this stuff on top of the fridge, and that's great because I have pads up there for him. But I just saw Worm running with it a while ago, so he dropped it, and Worm was eating it. Oh, no. <laughs> I know, an orange. That Worm is no good. And there's even Yazzie up. Yazzie's up. There's the worm. Yep. She's been being a good girl. Do you know I still have trouble with uh, her house breaking? Still. Hmm. I have to tell her to pee like 10 times and real nice. I can't rest her. But she has never pooped outside since I've had her. Never. How hot is it in Southern Calvin? It got up in like up to about eighty here, but Monday Monday it's supposed to get up to ninety. And that just sucks. It was in the nineties here today, but the humidity is low and there was a little breeze, so I can deal with that. I had art duty of course tonight. Of course. Trash cat says, Bob, Bob, guess what? Hundred and six. Yuck. I'm hoping she married that guy. That's what. Howdy, Andrew. Howdy, howdy. 106. The hottest I've ever been in was 108, and that was in San Antonio. I work. was just going to say, I was in like 100, it was like 120 one day when I was in Texas. But you I know the humidity was... Around the Dallas area of Texas. The humidity was real low, so it wasn't bad. No, the humidity wasn't low in part of Texas that I was from, that I lived in. It was high humidity. And you know, they have that San Antonio River or whatever it is down below ground with the cities built around yeah yeah i've seen i've never been down there but i've seen pictures of it and it's cool down there Milo and it's like a called the river walk or something like that yeah lots of shops and eateries and stuff. it's pretty cool to walk here jazzy and Milo are playing like Maybe one of them. Will Andrew says twenty dollars. She'll poop, he'll poop on your shoulder, Bob. He's sitting there looking at himself in the mirror. <laughs> he started a thing. I made a couple of little short videos. 
or Instagram and TikTok that he started this thing where he's real cuddly, he's real affectionate. Where is that chunky cat? Which one? I got five of them. I do I need to about Mario, but Mario went outside just before the stream started. So he's outside right now. I Vic started. is always trying to lure him away. He wants to steal Mario from me. So uh, he's trying to say that Mario has he has he has tuna. <laughs> I've started I just started a little series with fluid with voiceovers and fifteen <laughs> seconds. Or watch it now. Watch uh, where he's giving advice. And it says something about if somebody, the first one I did was something about somebody's going to hold their breath till whatever happened. And he said, make sure you let that MF choke to death or something. It's funny because he was moving his mouth too. Hey, Ozo. Hi, Ozo. wonder where Ed is tonight. It's not my week to watch him. Oh, Ed was up in Sevierville today. I saw him post something a while ago. The biggest he was where? Sevierville, where Dolly Parton's from, up by the uh, oh, huh. Great, Sm Great Smoky Mountains National Park. I keep telling him he should go there. He's never heard of it. But he said that it was the biggest Bucky's in the world, but it wasn't big enough for all these Tennessee people. So I found huh. it we on this post that mm -hmm. was, you know, by a couple million people, that park is the most visited. He was showing aerial pictures of it, so I don't know if he was in a hot air balloon or what. But I'd say that's where he's at. Yeah, uh huh. Okay. Or on the way back from. I'll message him and say, Pam's hunting you. Yep, I'm hunting him down. <laughs> No, if he's busy, he's busy. Just get down someone to take you in. Big Lou's in San Antonio, six foot pizza. That sounds good. Hey, Daniel. Hi, Daniel. Hundred hundred and ten where Huawei's at. That just sucks. Ugh, ugh, it, when it gets up to ninety here, I just want to like find a hole to crawl into. I certainly don't want nothing to do with temperatures in the hundreds. What well, roast sounds good? And Twenty bucks says she'll poop on his shoulder. Worm won't do that. Worm don't want me to see her poop. That's the problem. Mm. Well, I still don't see, but I visited the cataclysm. That's what it was. Okay. I hadn't seen you post anything, I don't think. Try to keep up with you. It was you 90 by 11 a.m.? Oh, oh, hell no. Yeah, we're supposed to get up to 90 on Monday. And that is too hot for me. I'll have to make sure I have my little air conditioning thing going, my little swamp cooler thing. My dad had one of those. I would go visit him in California. It's pretty good. Had a, like a small two bedroom, uh, mobile home trailer whatever yeah it was like a 70s model this was in the late 90s but it was still like antique -ish. it was cute it yeah, these well. are all little the little cards andrew like the little two by two and a half by three and a half inch cards so they aren't like extremely detailed or anything because they're really small i'm still here if you can hear me you can, yeah. Cause I'm I hoping I get the last of everything out on um, on Monday. I had it. I was kind of planning on going this morning because I was feeling better. I haven't been feeling very good. 
but I was feeling better and I figured I'd go this morning, but oh man, I got up and my feet were so big, it was ridiculous. My feet was swelled up. Has anybody got anything yet? Hmm? Has anybody got anything yet? Yeah, there's there's some people who have been getting their stuff. Okay. Yours, I think, is in the batch that's so going to be going out Monday. I'm hoping Monday. I, I got up a couple days ago and my feet were like about half the size that they've been and like really look good. And then I got up the, then the next two days. They've just been horrible. So I don't know what's wrong with those damn feet. I see Blackie though. Hey Blackie. Hello there. <clears throat> How are we? Well, it's getting hotter here by the day. Everybody here in the United States is starting to cook. Kind of like frying eggs, you know? <laughs> nice change. And you are like, how's your your weather there? Are you full into winter yet? Um, if you can call it that, I suppose. It's quite cold, very clear skies. Beautiful nights, lovely sleeping nights, even though I don't sleep much, but they're nice large motor in my driveway i love cool nights like yeah, they're the best i don't care how hot it gets during the day if it cools off at night i'm i'm okay with it but um here it's not too bad it usually cools off at night it'll get down into the 50s anyway but um I've lived in places before that the heat just didn't leave at night, and that's that's miserable. If it's like the middle of the night and still 90 degrees, I just want to die. Just going to go and investigate this loud vehicle in my driveway. I'll be back in a sec. Okay. Daniel said he didn't remember anymore. Does he have a print coming? Um, yes, I do believe that you do. I remember seeing a package with your name on it. He should have one coming from me. Yeah, I think that, and then you've got one coming from him, too. Yeah. I was still a teenager then. <laughs> Egg sidewalk special lunch, side of heat. This is my summertime drink. I like make coffee, and then I go put it in the freezer. And then I have coffee slushy after a couple hours of it being in the freezer. So instead of hot, co I start out with hot coffee and I take the leftover and make an iced coffee out of it. Doesn't that sound good? What are you doing, scraping toast? No, I'm just um, breaking ice on my iced coffee. Oh, okay. I need to get out of the chat so I can keep an eye on things here. I trim my beard more. Good. I trim my beard a lot more today, and I'm glad I did. It's not so hot. Not nearly. Yeah, I've been thinking about cutting my hair off just because it's getting hot. But and I have people telling me I should leave it like it is, and I don't know. I I you were going to say trim your beard. Yeah, I should trim my beard too, huh? What size of a rectangular fish tank aquarium is there between five and tens? Or five and a half and tens? Between five and tens? <clears throat> yeah. Because um, I was going to break down one of my tens that just had snails in it. and I, I think you could get like a seven gallon aquarium if you kind of check around. Well, that must be the lid I have because it's way too big for the five and a half and it's way too small for the 10. Yeah, it's probably like for like a seven, a seven gallon because I've seen seven gallons before. Well, I went ahead and did a five. I'm dividing these mice up before they get. Um, yeah, you don't want them to get big enough to start breeding. <laughs> well, they're right there at the cusp of it. But yeah. I have to do a scrotum check. And that'll let me, I hope that a whole bunch of them are one sex or the other, so they can stay in the bigger 10 gallon. Oh, uh, what's this, your little mice? Yeah. 
I guess they're not so little by now. They're not. They're as big as the mother almost. Since I got them that um, rat food, I don't remember the brand of it. They've been growing like bad weeds. Hmm. G'day, Huawei. G'day, Cat, Andrew, Dan, Trash Cat, No Joe. I see. Vic. Gunji. Awesome. I think I'm it's almost done here. with this little little film that I'm working on. It's, it's a video that's going to be coming up pretty soon, but I've just been working on it. Decided to throw it up and take a look at it because I didn't have to look at it yet. It's all or mostly all HEO cards, little tiny drawings. I think I'm right at the end of it. Ed didn't make my bed. What's that? Ed didn't answer me, so my bed is asleep. Yeah, that's okay. How are you, Scumji? All right. I'm all right. Good. So, how is the website coming along? Freaking slow is how it's coming. Yeah, I can see that. Everything takes me so long. It's just, and so I'm very indecisive and it's hard, but it's getting closer and I'm really hoping that, um, yeah, I'll pull it up. But I just have so much, so I'm, I'm working on that, but I've also been working on stuff because I've got like a few different, there's like, shows and a um, exhibition that I'm going to enter into and then we've got the expo at the end of yeah. this year and the website and I have to also obviously work and try and actually make some art in between all of it. Yeah. So like, hmm, everything. <laughs> everything, everything. Uh, can I take this opportunity too to let people know that Scunge Princess has a few new designs on her threadless uh, t-shirt shop as well. Oh, awesome, um, awesome. Some of, some of her more recent pieces are now available on shirts. Uh, please yeah. go and have a look and see I if there's something there that takes you fancy. Should I? I should just have a look. Um, if like, because there was some, yeah. See, there's a couple of other ones that we were looking at that are on there that I should probably do now because they're pretty ready to go, right? Um, the more the merrier. No, I have to find the thing. Um, also, I'm not sure. I tried to move my light and it's on the other side. I realize it's much better because then I don't shade my drawing with my hands. But I've also tried to put it so it's in this position. I need to do that. So it's pointing down instead of straight at my face, but it doesn't seem to have worked that well. Oh, thanks, Huawei. <coughs> Huawei shucking the threadless link. Uh, um, also, I couldn't get that one from last night to be bigger. Yeah, right. Without sacrificing the image quality. No, I just couldn't work out how they yeah. let you. That they had no thing when I was setting it up to alter how big it is i just upload the picture and that's how big they've put it on the shirt if that makes sense um yes Huawei. i believe dan's dragon has been retired from the threadless site retired. Yeah. um i mean i i can't say for sure if i do some
work on it. I might put some other version of it one day in the future, but I don't, I can't say that for sure. Um, you can have a back by popular demand in the future or something. Well, it it, it like, I don't know, it was maybe a mistake to pull it down because it has been very popular in terms of, um, you know, people tend to mostly choose it over the other things. But I just had like a vision of what I wanted to like have and also some of the um yeah i just wanted to change it around a little bit that's all. um Floyd, people are about you come on hello come on come on let's go Hello. Come on. You'll usually nine times out of ten come up on my shoulder if I had it. Come on. Here he comes. Oh. There he is. I'm sitting there trying to work out who's sitting beside Floyd. There was another bird there, and then I realized you're in front of a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> well, there were two cats there, too. I don't know who, which one of us it was. Yeah, I was, I was just. Oh, the other bird. I get bird. it. Yeah, I get it. <clears throat> That's why he stays in there. He likes that mirror. I guess I could give him one in here. People are asking after you. They are. You hang out with us for a little bit. Oh, I think trash cat says she wore her. Um, according to Huawei, it's the Dan's dragon. She possibly got the last Dan's dragon in existence. I think so. Because trash cat loves it and wore it yesterday. Oh, nice. That's lovely. Yeah. Lovely. 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 Why are you so quiet? Why are you so quiet? He goes in his, uh, like just then he probably thought I was putting him to bed. I go in and tell him, good, good night, it's time to go, good night, go to sleep, and tap my shoulder and he flies up and I come in and put a treat in his cage and he goes right in. Nice. Yeah, right. Yep. He's smart. He learns really fast. And he'll step up now too. He fusses, but he'll step up every time. Here, let's show him. Come on. Come on. Come on. How pretty his wings are. Sorry. Oh, yeah. On that wood box. Yeah. I didn't like that so much. Huh? Are people doing art tonight? I'm doing, I'm working on something. I haven't. I drew last <clears throat> last night was the first time I'd drawn in a long time. I haven't since on here. Yeah, I got behind a little bit, was not feeling good, but I'm back to actually I'm working on on Blackie's puppy again tonight. Oh. Like I say, I got a little bit behind where I wanted to be, was not feeling good, but getting back to it. On the road again. I'm planning to freeze out some paint, maybe, and do some painting. But we'll see. I may not. But um, I was just doing these ones. I was holding that one up before. Um, just before I went, we went up. Oh, this one I started that. the other day, but I finished. Very nice. Yeah. And I've got I like that size too. Yeah. Well, these are really um. I'm just really liking these watches to draw on because I don't know. I like the texture of them. It's a really different experience because um, 
Well, I've been working on the wood, but also the paper that I use is very like rough and bumpy. And what's nice about these is that they're just smooth, so everything slide, slides along, and it the paint goes on, and it just it's a different experience. Could you um could you use <clears throat> could you use ink on them or are they too glossy to soak in ink? Well they're not they're not absorbent and I think I mean I could use ink. I can draw with like my pen ink, but if I was using ink like one of these kind of ink things mm -hmm. um I could use it. It will sit on top, but if you've seen, so there's that other paper that I was using, the UFO paper, and it's like not absorbent at all. And it's really interesting what you can do with ink. And also I was doing like watercolor on it. Just by moving and, it around and stuff. Yeah, well, it just stays really like fluid because it's not absorbing into anything. But as it dries, you'll also get really interesting lines because you know it's like the moisture is evaporating rather than absorbing into the surface and so you end up with you know those like dark bits where more of the pigment is sitting and stuff like that which is um you know it's fun but at the moment what i'm really liking is using the posca paint on the Cool. There's Mr. Redbeard in chat. Ed is still in Pigeon Forge with his family. Is that, the, is that the name of a town? That's a pretty cool name. Pigeon Forge. That's where Dolly Parton's family's from. Where she's. That's where Dollywood is. All oh, right. Oh, there's Ed. Ed, don't get lost in that damn park. People get lost in it almost every week. Andrew says he thinks there's a Cooter's place in Pigeon Forge with Dukes of Hazards memorabilia and cars. All kinds of stuff there. Where to get its name from? That's what I want to know. I just love the imagery that it conjures up, right? Yeah. There we go. The name Pigeon Forge comes from an old iron forge built by Isaac Wave sometime around 1820. Oh, nice. The name, the name of this forge referred to its location along the Little Pigeon River in the vicinity of what is now the Old Mill. So it's not because it was a miniature forge where pigeons were. <laughs> Apparently not. <clears throat> Sevierville is Sevier County, and those two towns, the city limits, about up against each other. But you go on, you go on like five more miles, and you're in. Uh, in uh, can't remember the name of that town. It's oh, it says he up. went to Dollywood yesterday and the Dixie Stampede today. Oh my God! He'll come back with boots and a cowboy hat. You watch. <laughs> no, no. So, am I to guess that Dollywood is like uh, Dolly Hot? Yeah. It used to be Silver Dollar City, and it was like a rustic theme park kind of thing, and she bought it. Uh, probably yeah. 20, 25, 30 years ago. I went once, but I was young. I don't remember. She performs there. I mean, oh, wow. I see videos and stuff where she performs. Her family's all there. And she lives there. So. Very cool. I think I've put up some those other. Take it easy, Ed. 
Ed's going back to hang with the fam. Thanks for popping in, mate. Yeah. <clears throat> having a wonderful time. So what were you saying, Scunji? You think you've put more shirts up? Yeah, I put those ones from the other day up. Well, it's sort of a real trip because I don't know what I mean, but I put up the two green ones. But then it looks like I've also put up a red variation of one, but not all the different colours. Okay. But there are three more than there were at the start of the stream. Um, if, if, um, Sam looks at the ones that are up, he might recognize a few. G'day, Divine, and g'day, Glenna. GRB, hello. Hey. Let me pull in a crowd, I'll stay there. I've got to go and look in on the children. Oh, well. Let's go to look on the children. Hi, love. Okay. Um, my dog is um, on heat, and that means she has become this like a soft, fluid, snuggle machine. She just like melts onto people and wants to be hugged all the time. Hi. <laughs> oh, we knocked over the things. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, okay. We're going to need that one. Yeah, it's really funny because I just see her with one of the kids. And it's like she's her whole body's trying to become one with them, melted across the top of them. What are you what are you talking about? Pam, I was surprised to see you finally after seven years and unveiled star. Did what? After seven years you finally posted a picture of Star. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, no. She doesn't hold still very good for photographs, so. Um, so when my dog really was a puppy, um, the, the lady who had a would send photos and they were always like just a few really terrible photos and i would judge her really badly like how hard is it to just take a cute picture of a puppy like puppies are adorable you just have to snap a picture of them right and it wasn't until she came home that i realized how incredibly difficult it was to get a picture of her and in her whole life i've probably only got like a tiny little handful like in the last three years Huh. of her because she just she's all black so you just can't uh, <laughs> you can't take a good picture of her yeah those three at the top there are just the new ones I just put up All Good the ones stuff. you can see are all new ones. These ones have been like the bottom line, they were there already, but the top two I, lines are all recent additions. I still can't find my whipped and my whore. Oh really? Hmm. Ah. I'm sure they'll just be buried in one of my baskets or a drawer somewhere. You should go to some and look what they look like on a t-shirt. Divine, hello. Oh, 
Oh, I like that one. This, this one um, comes from actually three of, no, four of the pictures that are up come from pictures that um, Sam bought, but I've just sort of like edited them to be on shirts. So he's got the originals of these ones. Probably should get them on shirts too, while we <laughs> get out of it. Who are you? I want them on shirts. It's interesting because, like, being indecisive as I am and doing all the things, everything, like I do heaps of stuff on my phone, which is this tiny little screen. And that's where I'm like having to edit lots of stuff because my computer is shit and make all of the listings and stuff. And I deliberate over things and there are lots of different like versions of stuff that I've sort of got to filter through and put up. It's actually really interesting to look at it in this format because I've, I've never looked at the shop on a big screen before. I finally worked oh. myself a new computer today. Finally. Nice. Just the computer, nothing else. I'm going to be real happy on the day I order myself a new computer. Eclipse only maybe by the day that I receive the new computer and can load up Photoshop in less than an hour. <laughs> I'd be glad just to have Sam. Yeah. Mine, mine makes sound, but it's like everything that I want to do, it just can't, it can't manage. So I shut everything and I just try and open Photoshop and it's like, If an hour is an exaggeration, 45 minutes isn't. And just getting it to open and then you try and do one thing. I can't remember. I was messaging with Mikey one day when I was doing it and it was something like three hours and all I'd managed was to open it and like change one line on one picture. It's crazy. Right. Well, I hope your new computer makes you happy and has sounds and good stuff. I want this one. Oh, that's right, that one was on wood, wasn't it? Yeah. So it's I don't know how it will come out, but... It looks really good with the wood grain there, but, yeah, like you say, it might look different once it's printed. Probably not. Yeah, I like that. I also was going to do... So I've got an order in. So anyone who has gotten some art from me will have probably gotten like a card and some stickers and little stickers like these guys that go on the, oh wait, what's, wow. Soren was playing with this book and he's managed to close it up in a way I never have seen before. Okay, have I got to open? Sorry. Just like little stickers and stuff on that seal, the little packages and all that stuff. I've ordered new stuff like that, which I'm really excited to get, but I've got like, I think 
the date that they've given is next Monday. So not tomorrow Monday, but a week from tomorrow. Um, but I was going to put that picture on some of the cards, but in the end, I didn't. Oh. But um, I, I've still got like the mock-up, so I might end up doing it. We'll see. Do you want to see an extremely silly little quick drawing? I might. Okay. This is because I did this because every I've had a couple people ask me to draw what I saw coming home late one night in the middle of a snowstorm. And it's not much of a drawing because it's just a real quick little sketch. Oh, that says uh, <laughs> like that. Pam, I love it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just drew from memory what I saw from I saw him from the back. I didn't see his face, so, so it's just a this little. This is what's so drawing. fun because I see you. At, like you are masterful in recreating. I have great faith in that you could like do it, recreate any image, and it's really um, impressive and beautiful to see. But to see you do something that's like. Yeah, just uh, from memory and plus, of course, I love things like um, cryptids and monsters and stuff like that. So Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, like I said, it isn't, there's not really any detail in it or anything. But then, you know, I didn't really see a lot of detail because he was down like below me on the road when I saw him and his back was to me. So basically, I was just looking at the size and the shape of him. So, yeah. Very cool. <laughs> DJ, hello. G'day, TJ. I'll be back in what a sec. Does cake and baseball have a common. They both need a batter. How long ago was it when you saw this guy? Uh, well, I was working in Cheyenne, so probably about five years ago, maybe. Okay. Not, not too long. Yeah, I was driving home from work, and there was a snowstorm, so I hit the hit the back roads because I knew they were going to close the freeway. And um, it was like about one o'clock in the morning, so yeah. Very cool. I like that. Yeah, would you date a Sasquatch? <laughs> I, I might have already done that. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not feeling something like that was good. <laughs> <laughs> you know me too well, Sarah. <laughs> you know, I've just heard some of your stories, Pam. Are you making art? You what? Are you making art? Not really. You that, look like you are. Yeah, is that because you just don't consider it to be? Well, I wanted to. You know, I've been researching how to paint mountains. Oh, nice. And, and this is my first attempt at them. And, 
I definitely should have done it on the larger paper. I see that. So I'm going to put it aside. It looks awful. And do it on a bigger paper. Every um, experiment is worthy. And um, someone who I've, I guess I consider to be a really um, like a mentor to me artistically is the guy who uh, facilitates the life drawing classes that I go to. But I feel like no matter how you, um, like if I describe it as oh, it's life drawing classes, that's like totally not what it is at all either. But um, one of the things that he talks about a lot is that it's the things that are, that are wrong. It's the drawings that we do that we're like, uh, no, that's not right. That um, they are kind of like, um, I don't know if guides is the right word, but it's like they they will usually, the, the work that we really don't like and we feel like they don't work, they actually it's like have an insight to what our individual like language and style is and there's there's sort of this thing that we do when we when we see that it we can tend to sort of recoil from it and go oh no that's terrible because it's not what you see other people doing because it's something that's just coming from you and that there's a lot to be learned and embraced in um work you do that makes you feel uncomfortable or yeah. that you think is not good I'm just trying to emulate the style that he does the mountains with. And uh, first of all, I didn't use the tools that I need. Um, I thought I could get away with something else, and I didn't. That's part of the problem. Somebody got mail. Where am I staying? I got a request for screen time from my child. That's what that diddling means sound was ah. um he's at his friend's house and he's asking if he can go on google mm. also i made these peaks too steep but that's a, partly a byproduct of not having enough space I shall get some paper. Someone's cooking a barbie. Oh, been already trying to plan what I'm gonna make um, for dinner and the little voice in the back of my head keeps telling me to um, order pizza but then I remember how you had a bad experience with pizza the other day and um, also I have to say yeah, I, was, I, didn't I was only because I overdid it <clears throat> I had like three or four slices too many <laughs> Three or four too many. Yeah. Because like three or four is about a good number of pizza slices total, right? Yeah. Um, the thing that's really sad is this, and you won't understand because you're in Mullen, but Mullen pizza is really, really nice, right? Also, there used to be a pizza shop at Brunswick Heads that had a similar style of pizza, and it was really nice. None of the guys watching the stream this will make sense to. But anyway, but in Moolba, we went to the shop. It's like the best pizza in town. It's 
That's that's the problem with um, small population areas is that you know you might only have one of those things, so they can claim to be the best one in town if they're the only one. Well, like Moolamba, <laughs> um, okay, so the the town that's like the big town nearest to where I live, it's got it's a quite small town. Like I don't know how to explain this, but it's much, much bigger than the town. That's right near where my kid is. But it's got about eight chemists. And on one little street, it's got two main streets, right? And on one main street, there's about five or six chemists. Like you walk out, it's like chemist, other shop, other shop, chemist, other shop, chemist. Huh. Right? It's like, and the same with service stations. It's like this one tiny, it's just got one road into town. And it's got one, two, three, four, five, like six service stations within less than a kilometre. I don't know what that is in miles, but like less than a quarter of a mile. Is that right, my kid? Um, no, it's more than a quarter of a mile. Yeah. One right. mile is 1.6 kilometres roughly. Okay. What? In a short amount of space. It's like. Yeah, but Moolumbar services, all of your little villages and whatnot around Moolumbar are much bigger than the small settlements around Mullumbimby and whatnot. So I think Moolumbar services are a much higher population of people that don't actually live in Moolumbar. And I guess that that's true, but I still think the number of chemists and service stations in a small area is a little bit ridiculous. That sounds like churches here. Oh my god. <laughs> One road, ten churches. Every quarter of a mile. I'm not kidding. Oh, that's what what it was like in Texas. I lived in, in a Texas town that had a population of six hundred people and I I think it was like ten tur ten different churches. Wow. <laughs> There was definitely more churches than there was businesses in town, I'll tell you that much. I mean, admittedly, like how many churches does Mullumbimby have? It's got a good handful. It has. I don't know if the one that got damaged in the floods has come back yet. The one on the Argyle Street coming into town. What's that one? The Seventh Day Adventist, I think. Seventh Day Adventist, yeah. <clears throat> Um, but anyway. yeah, quite a few. Probably six. Regardless of anything. Yeah, but for a small town, that's still quite a lot. But it's like just one for each denomination, yeah? Um, but still, Moolumbai has no good pizza. That's the point. I to get it, so I can't, <laughs> order, I can't order pizza. Like, I might think about it. No and they've, they've got, they've got um, like what have you got there? You've got <laughs> McDonald's and you've got Kentucky Duck. What other fast food joints is in Wollongong? Subway? Do they got a Subway? Yeah, they've got one of those, and they've got Domino's. Oh, how is Domino's not the best pizza in Wollongong if that other one's shit? Have you ever eaten Domino's pizza? Yeah, I actually don't mind Domino's. I'm one of these rare people that actually enjoys Domino's and Pizza Hut pizzas. Uh, I'm sure they're not wrong, but they, you know what you're getting. Yeah, but like I eat a pizza from Eleanor's and then eat a Domino's pizza and that's a completely different animal. Yeah, but you also, on, on that note, you pay $29 for a pizza from Eleanor's now. I don't know what you yep. pay for one. I guess how much? Yeah, it's still a lot. Twenty dollars, is it? Oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh, the worst pizza I ever had was in Texas at a Pizza Hut. That was like, oh, that was like the nastiest pizza. It was worse than buying a frozen pizza. It was really bad. <laughs> so That's all the what I on that one. Grasshopper. But I, yeah, I ever about the, the churches when I went to. When, to, when I was living in Texas, 
I moved to Texas from LA with my daughter who was like five years old at the time. So I was looking for a job and I quickly realized that in rural Texas, you ain't going to get shit unless you know somebody. Oh, I love that. Very cool. So, I am not a religious person. I'm not a church person at all, really. But I decided that I should go to a couple of the, or find a church in town and then I could meet people and maybe get a job, you know? Because that's just the way that rural Texas is. Hmm. So, never so um, church. yeah, so I went to this one church this one weekend and there was a lot of kids my daughter's age and stuff and people were fairly friendly, but it was kind of big. So, and I wasn't quite sure about it. So the next Sunday, there was a little Baptist church. I decided to go to the Baptist church and I went, took Megan, we went to that one. But the problem with that one is the congregation was very small and it was mostly like people 70 years old and up. I mean, there was no kids at all or, you know, there was just no young people at all. So I was thinking about it. So that Sunday afternoon, there was a knock on my door and I answered the door and it was people from the first church that I had gone to with a carload of groceries for me, which was just really nice because I was really broke and we were eating nothing but top ramen. And the neighbor's dog was starting to look good to me. <laughs> <laughs> so they brought a carload of groceries. So I got all the groceries put away and I visited with them for a few minutes, you know, and told them thank you and all that stuff. And they left. And I just finished putting away the groceries and there was a knock on the door. And I answered the door and I got us a couple ladies from the Baptist church with a carload of groceries for me. <laughs> So I was like, well, shit. Well, the next, following Sunday, the first church was from 10 to 11. And then the Baptist church was from 11 to 12. So for about a couple months, I went to both of them. You know, we'd go, we'd go to the first one. Then we would rush over to the Baptist church as soon as the, the sermon was over and, and do that one, too. Because I felt so guilty, you know, after they brought me all the groceries, I had to go, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. They bribed you in. Yeah, so the being a, a non-religious person, I was like rushing, rushing every Sunday to do two different churches. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would sell, definitely would sell the Sasquatch card if anybody wants it. I don't know, it's just a simple little, it's a very simple little card though. Very quick little sketch. Is that your only Sasquatch ever? Yeah, that's the only one I've done. I just kind of, I just kind of did it from memory. I was trying to, because the thing that I remember the most is when I first spotted it, I just saw the shape of it, and from it, it was almost like an M or something, you know. And then as it got, as I got a little bit closer, I realized what it was, and it scared the shit out of me, actually. How much is posted to Australia? Huh? Oh, it's only a dollar to ship it to Australia. Really? Yeah. It just seems spastic, doesn't it? A dollar, dollar twenty-five. Because I just drop it in a note card and get a get a international stamp, which is like a little yeah. bit over a dollar. The cheapest we have is, uh, I think, three fifty on top of whatever. Um, yeah, that's the cheapest that we've got. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's why um, when I do the giveaways with the cards, which I'm going to do Monday, I'm going to do a, a Monday night. I'm going to do an auction, guys, and I'm also going to do some giveaways. I'm going to have a few cards for giveaway on Monday night. So, just so you guys know, and if you want to have anything ready or anything that you want to have Blackie put up for you, Sarah. Yeah. Well. I will definitely be at work tomorrow. That's very cool, Bob. Oh, you've got a broken handle. I saw Divine said Bob needs a coffee cup with his YouTube channel on it. So the answer is um, nobody made an offer, and I was just showing it, but if anybody wants to throw out an offer, Grasshopper, you're most certainly welcome to. 
I'll put an offer of twenty dollars, but that might be um I might be able to go above it. Oh but I'm also Grass gonna Hopper, throw... Grass Hopper just bid thirty dollars on it. Yeah, so good. But also sad for We'll get Huawei to scan it and send you a copy, and then you can send send Pam like a token, ten bucks or something for a print. Yeah, talking about postage, our um, like our standard letter postage stamp is, I think, a dollar ten now, maybe even a dollar twenty. It might have okay, gone up. Okay, Grasshopper, I can do that. Definitely. But within the country. Oh, 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 wow, Sam wow. says he'll give me thirty dollars if I send it to Sarah. So I will definitely do that. So Sarah, I don't have your address, so you have to, especially your your new address, so you have to put that in the in our messenger stream. So Sam just bought it for you. What a legend! Oh, really. That's what he said. Hey. Don't make me have tears in my eyes. It's just a simple little drawing. I don't know why anybody really wants it, but. You sound it's like it. some kind of artist or some nonsense. <laughs> <coughs> yep, we'll close the bidding on it. I don't think anyone would bid against such an offer, Samuel. Now I want to take the last of the stuff to the post office on Monday, so make sure you get send me your address when you get a chance, Sarah. Uh, I might have, have an address for you, but if I do, it's not going to be your new one. It's going to be the old one, so I'll definitely need your new one. That's absolutely correct, TJ. They want it because it's very good and it has your name on it. It's just a quick sketch from memories. Mm -hmm. But it's also special because it's out of the ordinary. It's encrypted. We always like out of the ordinary. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, I was heading, I, I was like, it was the middle of a, a snowstorm and it quit snowing, but the snow was really deep. And I was like out in the middle of the, of the national forest where there's no houses or anything out there at all. And it was like one o'clock in the morning. And I had it locked into four wheel drive low because one of those things where you don't want to stop. It's like I was making the only tire tracks in fairly deep new snow. And you don't want to stop because if you stop, you're going to get stuck. And you sure as hell can't back up. And you can't go more than 20 miles an hour. <coughs> I'd say it was, it was, I had turned the hubs and locked it into four-wheel drive low. So you can't go fast. Um, get a I casual aquatics. But um, yeah, so hey, Sean. I was coming down a hill. Yep, I got it. All things fish, right? Oh, thank you, thank you, Sam. Um. Anyway, so I was coming around a corner, like I'm starting down a hill, and like it's middle of the night, middle of the national forest. And as I came around the corner. And the, the lights were like pointing down is when I first saw it. And it took just a little, it, it was probably only in sight for maybe three or four seconds full time, which is quite a while really when you think about it, but three or four seconds took a little while. But anyway, yeah, it lit it up and, and I remember when I first saw it, I was like, what the hell is that? And then I, it, like hit me what it was and I was like I I had this instant panic because 
I couldn't back back up the hill. That was not an option in the deep snow. I could not speed up to try to whiz past it real fast when I got down to it. Um, there was really slide? nothing I could do except keep going. So I just like locked my doors and then I thought, well, this whole truck, it, it can like, it'll just pull these doors off. I mean, I was like totally panicking. But, you know, when I got down to the bottom and turned to where it had been, it was gone when I got down there. So I was like, thank God. Thank you, God. Were, you were really in the moment, weren't you? It, it scared me, Bob. It, it did. I have to say it scared me. Nice. And then I got a little, just barely a little ways further and there was a herd of, of mule deer in the middle of the road. And they did not want to move for nothing, but I don't know if that's why it was there or what, but um, yeah. And then what was really odd about it was by the time morning came, like I got home in the middle of the night and went to bed and got up in the morning. And I had to call in to work because the freeway was closed. So I couldn't get back to work again the next day. And I totally forgot about it. It's like... I totally forgot about it. How does that happen? Scared the shit out of me. And by morning, I'd totally forgotten about it. And then I didn't really think about it at all until about a year ago or so. And um, I was looking at something online and a drawing popped up of the back of a Sasquatch that was really close to that. And I was like, it was like flashback. It just like all came like a flashback, you know what I mean? It was like, oh shit, I remember that, <laughs> you know? <clears throat> it was kind of strange. Hello, Casual Aquatics. And Sean, Nona. Sean's been posting a lot on our reptile on our page. All things fish. Hey, John. I'm going to take away and make a cup of And then something else happened about a year after that, which I, I've never, actually, I've never told anybody this before because I can't specifically say that anything was happening for sure. But um, I had a friend that was visiting from um, Iowa and I took her up in the National Forest, and it was springtime, and there's a bunch of dirt back roads there. So we were driving around the dirt back roads, and I was just showing her the country and stuff. And this was the same area where I saw that guy. And um, we were driving around the back roads, and we came out of this one back road onto a more well-traveled dirt road. And there was just off to the side of the road, down in this little dip, there was two um, forest rangers trucks and they were standing outside their trucks talking. And it was just one of those feelings. And I, it's hard to describe, but it's like when we got close to them, they were staring at me like anticipation. And when I went by them, they looked relieved. Like they were glad that I kept going and didn't pull down to talk to them about anything. And then I got a little bit further down the road and there was a group of people like in their trucks and cars and stuff that were pulled off the side and everybody was talking. They kind of did the same thing. They were like staring at us when we went by and it gave me a really odd feeling. But it's like I, what I think was going on, looking back on it, is I think somebody saw something or some people saw something and the park rangers didn't want have anybody else stop and tell them that they saw something on those back roads mm. you know what i'm saying i just have this feeling that that's what was going on because i mean we were getting stared at like really oddly if that makes sense and it probably makes me sound like a total idiot with a wild imagination but that's just i you ever get the feeling when people are staring at you you just you know something's not quite right. It was kind of that type of thing. Yeah, well, lots of our communication is body language, so we do pick up on those exactly, kind of uh, yeah. non-verbal yeah, signals. Yeah, pick up on body language and just, yeah, and just kind of, you just, 
um, almost like a sixth, sixth sense type thing. You just know something's going on. And I think a lot of sixth sense is picking up on body language and stuff. It's the vibe, man. Mm-hmm. And everybody in chat is thinking, whoa, that punchy, she's kind of strange. <laughs> she's the oddball. <laughs> Trash Cat says she just stares back. I don't know if anyone who follows uh, baseball, but I know that one of the... Uh, Pictures at our little community college here in Cleveland, Tennessee, got picked up by the Mets. Nice. Nice picture too, Scungy. Yeah, that's really cool. Very Big. nice. It's a big one. Yeah. I've got a few big things going. I was going to pull out this other one. Maybe I will, but... I've got, I know what I Oh, that's lovely. That's no, huge. Oh, I haven't seen that one. But it's a way I have sent you pictures. And I've got like, like oh yeah, I know what I'm doing. I just, I delay stuff that need with paint always because something about pouring the paint out and then there's pressure. But yeah, but like it's big. I've got a few little sketchy. Yeah, that's going to be pretty awesome. I, I want to see it when it's done. <laughs> well, yeah, I work. I got, so I had, um, the thing is, I didn't have a lot of charcoal um, except for pencils and I'm doing a lot of the background in that one like I'm doing paint but I'm doing the background in charcoal actually oh nice very cool I'll tell you about my score because I went online and I bought um, like a stick of charcoal and they sent me a message and they said um, oh we're out of stock of that charcoal so would you like a refund um or choose something else and it's like a stick of charcoal so it's not very expensive but i'm so it was a simple question to answer i would like a refund please but i'm really bad at sending messages back so i didn't get there and then all of a sudden they sent me another thing that said oh our order of charcoal came in but it's all been like um damaged in transit Oh. Um, so they said, so would you like the whole box of charcoal? And it's like well, all the sticks, uh, if you can see, oh. they're kind of... Perfect. Oh, heck, heck yeah. <laughs> like, like two layers of charcoal. And I'm like, you know what? The second I pick up a stick of charcoal, I snap it. <laughs> I know, exactly. That's what I was just going to say. When I, I have sticks of charcoal and the first thing that I do when I'm using them is start snapping them into pieces, you know? Yeah. We're just making so it more convenient for you. <coughs> well, it was like awesome for the price of one stick. I have a whole box of charcoal now. That I'm is cool. That, that is very cool. Yes. So yeah, I got to get in and start charcoaling the background of that one now. We'll see. I'll have to get a picture of the Sasquatch before I put it in an envelope tomorrow because um, because a couple people have asked me if I would do a drawing of what I saw so so I need to share it with a couple of peoples. Um. Thank you, pictures. I'm also happy to, um, if it, I can't really believe it's real, but if it comes to me, 
I can scan it and send you like a hi. Oh, that would be awesome. Yeah, that would be really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I um, so I just recently this week have been trying to get my printer going again to, to start making prints. And so what I've done is I've got four prints that I've done here, just like um, getting everything communicating and making sure it's all working and stuff. Yeah. Um, but now I have to work out what things I'm going to print and get all of those files ready and stuff. But, um, yeah, I've got, like, Ooh, my little like that one a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. It's really, um, it's Show just it so again. fun. Oh, I love the colors and stuff in that one. That one is really awesome, Sarah. I'm also I'm also doing a sticker run of this particular picture. Oh, that'd be a good one. Yeah. 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 Yep. I'm looking forward to that. But these little prints, they've just been really fun. But they're ones that, you know, like Sam bought this one. And, like, this is bigger than the original artwork. But it's just been so fun to see this one Bob got. <laughs> <clears throat> Which is come out in prints. Are you and this happy one, with the quality that they're printing out at? Um, yeah, they're printing really nice quality. The only thing, so what I'll change, these ones will be just my, they're just my little test run ones. But what I'll do is I'll play with how much, um, so like this one, it's got too much white space in the print and stuff like that. But I was not really focused on that as much as I was focused on um, I just wanted to make sure my computer was communicating and, you know, seeing how the file setup was and stuff. So, but yeah, they print, well, so it's a proper printer for like Z clay prints and stuff. And I've got proper good paper and everything. This one, um, The other Sarah bought. Which My printer is here. messing up. I might have to get another one one of these days. Printer? Yeah, my printer sucks right now. It's, it's putting stripes on the paper, so I can't make any prints. Great. But I need to get another one or something. But I was reading an article about how um, a lot of the printers now, they don't, and the ink and stuff, the ink jets are so expensive and stuff. And it's, they kind of plan on it being cheaper to just get another one instead of replacing the ink on them. That's what they're geared for now. It's not, yeah, it's not. they don't really even want you to get, they don't really even want you to order all the different inks. They just want you to, th when it runs out of ink, throw it out and get another one. Because when you get a new one, it comes with ink. The different yeah, exactly. Stuff. Exactly. And yeah, My and the, the, the ink jets are priced, it's actually cheaper to do that than it is to keep buying ink jets for the damn yeah, thing you're pretty much getting your ink for 10 uh, your printer machine itself for about 10 bucks yeah yep or less i've seen like the home printer printers where if you bought that ink it will cost you more than just buying the printer that comes with mm -hmm. the ink mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This printer is it's really ridiculous and it's a total waste but you know i think that's that's what people do that's what businesses do now they don't buy the ink jets they just use the printers and when they're out of ink they throw them out and get another one yeah. that's gross mm -hmm. but yeah just this one is quick. like proper printer for doing proper art prints and it can print up to a3 so up to like like up to this size i can print on there and the inks are also like um 
archival inks and stuff. So it's definitely one to buy the ink and not replace the printer. But um, it's very complicated as well. It's not as simple as just going print. I have to go through a whole number of steps to get it to print stuff, <laughs> which is why I had to do the testing on it. But the quality of the prints is all good, well, mate. Or oh, actually. That I've lost it. No. So I did do one and then I put the paper in. I was like looking at the paper and I was looking at the textures and I was like, oh, I like the texture on the other side of the paper. So I put it in the other way around and it turns out because it's proper paint paper for proper printing, it couldn't get put on the other side. So then it like blurred the image. You might not be able to see it. But like the way that the ink sat on the page is really weird. But then I took one because I print them like on one sheet and then cut them apart. So hang on, brain. This one. Then I was like drawing, drawing over the top of it. Oh, awesome idea. Which was, you know, it's been pretty fun. Hard to see on here, of course. But it went from just looking like a blob. I still haven't, I haven't like really drawn on the face at all, but. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it was a bit fun. I don't know if I can, there's nothing I can do with this one. Like it looks like vaguely okay from there, but it doesn't in person. But yeah. Yvonne wants That's your art on cups and plates. I think coffee cups would be awesome. I think you definitely ought to think about that. Oh yeah. You know, some of those printing places do print on cups. Yeah. So I could do that. I also, well, I was one, I've done a little bit of play stuff and I'm really interested in like plates and things like that. Like, because you can make them and then you can draw on the glaze and stuff. I'd really like to get into that. You know, Susie Q does a lot of that. Um, our reptiles cups came from her and she's a real crafty person anyway, but you want to get with her and see. She makes them or she gets the stuff printed on? I think, she, no, she doesn't make them personally, but she's just a real artist. She does miniatures and lots of stuff. She's just a real oh. artsy person. Q Aquatics, Susie Q. I remember her from... Um, She's on the oh, Tennessee yeah. Fish Mafia and yeah. Reptiles. And yeah, we probably haven't like talked to her because she goes to bed really early time here. So she'll be so, getting up in a few minutes. So. She's yeah. still rollerblading. Yeah. She's usually getting up when I'm going to bed. Yeah. She has a, what's her channel called, Huawei, Sam? Uh, something mug, mugged by Q. Yeah, yeah, mugged, that's it, yep. Mugged by Q, Q-U-E. That sounds
Well, I have to check it out. Um, she keeps fish and, and uh, reptiles and, dogs and birds and cats. It's kind of like my house. It's like a really cool like pond thing that she was doing last time that I remember watching something because I think Mikey used to watch her channel a bit so yeah she always used to do the pond stuff mm, she started it back stuff. yeah she's mm -hmm. doing it now well I tell you what on the um, clay and actually making stuff side of things um i'm sort of hoping we have a family friend who she um she was my sister's friend growing up and she has a quite successful um underwear business where she designs and makes underwear and she's just started doing um a bunch of ceramics and clay work and so my mum apparently on my behalf reached out to her to ask her about where she's um firing her clay and stuff like that and she's in turn reached out to me and so it actually is positive because i'm hoping that she will lead me to a kiln <laughs> where i can fire all my clay nice. um so it, it potentially is gonna gonna happen that i can did I show? I must have shown on here some of my things, like the little incense holder and stuff that I was making. I must have. But yeah, it's exciting because that's the thing. I started making stuff out of clay and then realized unless I can fire it, it's just like a fun pastime. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. Unless you get the clay like Ed uses that you can bake it in the oven to harden it. Yeah, and I've got that as well, but it's a it's a different animal. Yeah. Um, I also have this other clay that I've been using. It's called paper clay. And so it has like, I can't remember, it's made from like talc and Stuff and it air, it air dries and um, it's very light and once it dries you can you know tool it and sand it and and everything and I've made some really cool little bone masks and stuff out of it but what I found with that even though it's wonderful because it just air dries and lightweight and everything but it it dries out really fast when you're using it and so I guess what you can achieve out of it is really different to when you're working with a kind of, I don't know, mud kind of clay. Yeah. Um, because yeah, it'll, it'll like crack and split and it's really hard to get it to have um, a smooth texture. And I made some really, some things that I really love from that air dry clay, but um yeah i would prefer oh, to have one a bun if you want if you want it smoother if you want it rougher exactly what you're making with it you know which one you is best to use but it would definitely be pretty cool if you had access to a kiln yes so i'm excited hopefully this lady um, madonna will guide me to a good kiln that i can afford to use <laughs> At least you have found one of your shirts, Mikey. Um, <clears throat> I'm sure they're in there. You've seen my laundry method. They'll be at the bottom of a pile or in a drawer. Probably not in a drawer, actually. <laughs> that's how they unlock them. That's like my washing. The stuff that's in the drawer is the stuff that no one ever wears. 
<laughs> that's why it's in the drawer. No, that's that's why I thought that little chest of drawers or that tall boy that I got from Sam, my Sam, not this Sam, um, was a little bit of a godsend because I could pack all my T-shirts in there and then I'm um, slowly, you know, pulled out the ones that are in regular rotation and the ones that are in there are exactly what you said, the ones that don't get worn. So at least they're off and out of the way. Did you have T-shirts in that in those drawers? I thought because it's over in that other bit of the room that it would be like just all Lego bobs. Yeah, sure. Um, three of the drawers out of the five, I think I've relegated for clothing. Two of the drawers have other things in, which probably should get organised a bit better because one of the very bottom ones just got all my lego instruction books in it they probably don't need to be taking up an entire drawer space we have a plastic pub for lego instructions so you know like they take up a considerable amount of space it's kind of silly to keep them too really unless you're thinking of reselling because you can always just get the instructions online and yeah yeah. That means I can chuck away my kids' Lego instructions. Yeah, well, they're probably not going to sell them. Oh, they're not going to sell them. As long as you uh, know the item number, the set number. <clears throat> ah, well, you can probably search for that online too, right? Probably. What my kids want is just like the the Lego room from the Lego show. Hmm. You know what I mean? I think most Lego enjoyers want that room. Yeah. Like, and honestly, I think that Thorin in particular, this is my middle son, he just... If he had access to that, he would actually make some really cool things. He's got the kind of brain for it and everything, but. I think he's better at creating Lego things uh, from the brain than I am, because that's certainly not a skill of mine. I just follow the instructions and I'm done. Oh no, he is, it's, it's actually phenomenal. And I've seen what the, you know, I've seen the shows and I've seen people making amazing things and he's just got, it just works in his brain. Oops. Now I have Fosco on my dress and on the floor. Anyway, he, the way his brain works is, is, it's unique. Not unique, but it's apart from most people. That's probably the way to put it. He can imagine it and he can imagine it from deep within and all the different steps in a way that I can't, I could never. Kind of amazing to see. in action someone like i don't know i guess it's like that like anyone whose brain works so differently to your own and where you can see that things where you're like oh you can like see this level and they can see like all the other things in between so. One thing that I think um, Lego doesn't do anymore that they used to do is often at the back of an instruction manual, they'd have like three or four other different things you could create using 
the bricks or some of the bricks from that set, but I haven't seen that in an instruction manual for ages. Well, what they do is they have one called Lego Creator, and so they'll be, this is a model of this, and then they'll have three or four alternate designs that you can do with those same yeah, right. brick sets, and they'll give you the instructions for that. But the ones that are Creator are usually... Um, sort of very themed so you've got like it's the star wars tri fighter like it's exactly that yeah true you don't have an alternate for that but when they've got like creator is like here is a tractor and hey it can also be uh this animal and this other you know that's the way yeah. pam's art is sometimes i'll see uh like a bird and it's a fish. I'll have to look, have a look in the ones that I bought Dad and see if they've got um, alternate builds in them. Are they yellow? No, they're not creator. They're just Lego City, but, yeah, they're probably more I, likely than my Star Wars ones to have alternate builds in them. I still think City doesn't have alternate builds. I think only creator has the alternate right. Uh, that's just what I've picked up from the ones I've seen my kids have. Pam, what are you doing? Um, just watching chat right now. I'm kind of working off and on 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 um, Blackie's puppy, but alternating between that and reading the chat. <coughs> What are you working on, Bob? Mountains or trees? Well, I had major failure at two attempts at mountains. And I've gone back to a tree, but I thought I'd do a much larger one, but it sucks. So I'm trying to destroy it now. <laughs> Since it's already no good. <sighs> So really neither one. I thought mountains were going to be easy to do, but they're not. <laughs> well, I always says it's not my fault that Disney doesn't want me to use the bricks from Cinderella's castle on the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> Not um, take Highlights, ornaments. What are divine says? I bought the Lego candy blocks and they were gone when I got to my car. I don't even know what that's about. Does Lego make a lolly, a candy in the shape of bricks, maybe? What is RSA, Huawei? Some kind of recreational drug?
turns out I was listening to um the called stuff you should know the other day. Um, at work and they had a thing on something called PCP and they were like, oh, it's this thing, this thing. Well, I've never heard of that. Really? Yep. Never. That was that was actually the first um, Stuff You Should Know episode that I've listened to in a while as well. Yeah, it's quite interesting. Yeah, I have, like, and, you know, I'm not oblivious to things, and in fact, Angel Dust. Have you heard of Angel Dust? Is that what it is? Yeah. Okay. So I've never heard of PCP. Oh, Jesus. I have heard Angel Dust. Hence why they had that bit in there about how the cops say that someone's dusted. Well, they were talking specifically about someone in Los Angeles back in the early 90s yeah, who was they? dusted, so the police had to beat him in a round. Sure. And, like, I mean, obviously, I, you know, ketamine and stuff like that, I just never heard of these things. Ketamine can be really fun when you get it right. Yeah. I mean, yeah, for a minute. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I also think that, um, what is the thing? Set and setting, right? You what? Set and setting. Like, it is really important how the, the, the setting of how you're experiencing something is going to have a big impact on it. Yeah, that's, that's why all of these um, unhoused people doing the crystal meth in the public in the streets is probably not the best place for it. But, yeah. you know, it makes for awesome internet content when people get it on videos. Yeah. In uh, I don't know if that's connected or not. Oh, that's choice. Yeah, but see, so oh, 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 it's shiny. Let me see it again. Hold it up. Hold it up. Is that just because it's still wet, or is that a glossy it finish? Is, it is still a bit wet. Yeah. It's cool. Very cool. So these pens, they're like pens, but they're paint in the pen. So you can like just squeeze out the paint and then paint with it. That's really cool. I did yeah, that. Yeah, that is cool. That looks like a crow, an evil crow. Nice, because you know what is coming out, and I'm noticing it. But I have a, I have to make a bird artwork. Yeah. Um, it has to be thirty by thirty okay. centimeters, and I've got like one week to make it, and I don't even know. I was starting on this, but it's the wrong size. Good eye, Trev. I was like, oh, I'm just going to play with this, and I was doing this guy. Yeah, I love that. It reminded like, me um, a lot of the uh, picture on the cover of a book, and I think it was, this is 35 years now, I think it was Stephen King's The Gunslinger. I think that's what that looks like. I'll look in a minute. I used to read a little bit of Stephen King. I had so much of his stuff and I sold it all when I moved back from Florida to here to kick myself. Yeah, I don't even think I 
and I own a lot of books. I don't think I have any Stephen King, but I did read a few, like a bunch. That was before was internet. Yeah. Before internet days. Yeah. Yep. I remember I read um, the Pet Cemetery. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I read that, that one. That is a creepy book. That is a creepy book. I read that one. And um, it, I, I read um, an interview with him where he said he couldn't even write it all in one sitting. He had to keep um, like putting it down and walking away from it himself because it was his little boy was about the same age as the little boy in that one. And it just like yeah. it bothered him even writing it. So clearly it wasn't one of the ones that he wrote while he was coked out of his mind. Said he didn't remember some of them. That era. <clears throat> was there like a time period where? Because I don't know about that. I just know I did. Read. I think Insomnia is actually a really good book. Um, mm -hmm. I really like the sort of concepts that it has about like a space being entirely different for, for different groups of people. I don't know if anyone's ever read the book or not. But, um, but I, I just really enjoy that. And I actually think about it sometimes when, you know, I'm just like in town or going and I, I, I'll have this sort of flash of, um, yeah, that it is, but for the different groups of people, the way that they see and experience that space is completely different to that to another group of people, I guess. From reading. Yeah, that that um that hotel that the shining was made in. That's like about an hour's drive from me right now. And I remember the first time I saw it, I was like, even from a distance, like <clears throat> I recognize that. <laughs> That's from the movie The Shining, and I guess it is haunted too, from what I what I understand. So yeah. But do you also get that feeling being somewhere where, like, winter is so um, harsh and isolating and all encompassing? That feeling of insanity. Yeah. <laughs> that along with being so isolated in that way. Yeah, they kind of picked the right place, choosing somewhere in Wyoming, didn't they? Actually, it's, it's just across the border in Colorado. And it's in Estes Park, Colorado, which is the entrance to um, the Rocky Mountain um, National Park. I'm terribly sorry being like coming on here. Most of the people are American. I just like do not know America at all. I don't know where well, stuff is. Yeah, it'd be like, you know, if you're talking about Australia, I don't know where everything is in Australia either. So they were even, you know. <laughs> it's nice. Yeah. I don't, I don't know anything. I it's only been really recently that I learned that like New York is on like one side and yeah. Los Angeles is on the other side. It's on the, yeah, yeah. New York is on the east yeah. coast and Los Angeles is on the west coast. That but. was a a thing I learned not very long ago. <laughs> Well, like I say, don't ask me anything about Australia because I'd be the same way. So, yeah, <gasps> I, 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 I was going to say that similar to what Huawei just said, I reckon I know more about American places than a lot of Americans do. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you um, will know a lot more about America than I do. But I watched this video today. And is actually an Australian video, and it was of a guy, and he was like, it was like, came to him shooting like a video of, I guess his foot, 
and his leg with a snake coming out the end of his pants and he was saying like okay so i was fixing something on my ute <laughs> this fucking tiger snake's gone up my leg and i'm freaking out there's no one that i can call to help me so i have to pull the snake out of my pants and he's got like a clamp where he's clamped his jeans together on one side of his thigh to stop it going up any further and then he like rips it out and then swears to all buggery when he does and you can just hear that like freaking out like he built himself up and he's like three two one fucking as he throws the snake away and he was saying like i'm re i'm reconsidering my ideas about whether it's okay to kill snakes or not but um it was a great little video and i <laughs> enjoyed it but it was very australian and what was funny is the like top comment on the video was somebody going for all the americans this is what he said and it had never occurred to me that other people might not understand what he was saying as he was freaking out and talking about how what had happened how the snake had ended up going up his pants and stuff and yeah at that point it, it hadn't occurred to me that um everyone just couldn't understand him what was that on um it was i think on instagram it'd be interesting if it was on youtube to see the um closed captions but i don't think you get captions on insta do you no and like i don't i try very hard to not really go on social media i think i went on because there was like a thing of someone following and something and so i went on to see and it was like it somewhere at the top top three things Hey, BJ. What's yeah, this? I looked, I looked that up too, and there's like about five or six different covers for that book. What I think I was thinking was see the crow down below sitting yeah, on Yeah, it looks like, like it's on a, on a rib cage or something. Um, yeah, and I kind of melded the crow's face and that together, I guess. G'day, BJ. It's a good book. <laughs> yeah, the Dark Tower series. The most painful read. Painful as in tedious to get through, or what? Uh, well, I guess yeah, it should, for sure. shouldn't be painful, but we read a book in high school. It was called In the Skin of the Lion. It was by someone called Michael Ondaatje. And I think he also wrote a book called The English Patient. Um, and so we read that book. And what I remember is being an avid reader and reading that book, and it felt like dragging yourself up a, like cliff by your fingernails is how it felt reading that book like it was so <laughs> fucking strenuous and hideous to read um and i got through it i read it and i did all my exams and everything with it um but a couple of years later i still had it on my shelf because i didn't give it back to school <laughs> as you maybe often don't or maybe that was just me um and i like i've i reread it like a few years later and it just it was it came easier to read it and suddenly i saw all of these um really beautiful elements in it that i never saw the first time i was forced to read it and i'll call it forced because it was like it was strenuous. It was so awful to read at first. And, um, but I guess the lesson for me was that when I read it later, I found all these emotionally heavy and beautiful themes and stuff that I could never find when I had to read it the first time. 
and it was actually really good. And now I will say it was one of the best books that I ever read, but the first time I read it, I would have preferred for you to sand my skin off <laughs> when you are reading the book. Like it was awful. I think I still have um, my copy of Brave New World from when we had to read that in year 11. Oh, wow. I don't think I ever returned that, but I still don't think I've read it cover to cover either. Yeah, but a Brave New World's not as horrible as in the a <laughs> lion. Yeah, it's just called it. Yeah. You never returned it. So. The Dark Tower was the last um, series that I read, the last book that I read before I had to get glasses. So that's how long ago they've been. About I actually months. started reading a book the other day. It's crazy. What book did you start reading? I've never known you to, oh yeah, okay. I'm gonna go to the bathroom and I'll be back. Pam, did you hear about the cat that ate the lemon? No. Vic's asking you. Oh, it's a it's a dad joke. Yeah. <laughs> Not mushroom. Oh, as mushroom as possible. It's a sour push, yep. Okay. Oh yeah, we had to do the outsiders in school as well. That was year nine or year 10 or something. I don't think I read that one either. I don't think I read many of my assigned books for English in school. That's what Cliff's notes are for. That's what what? Cliff's notes are for. Go and get some meat for my magpie. Oh, is he gonna leave? I'll be back. Get Pam to grown on live stream. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Bob, tell a story. Oh my God, he's going to cut his throat. No, that's them. Um, Oh, I forgot to compose comments in here now. Um, Sarah, Sarah, go. Yeah, she went to she'll be right back. I'm probably gapping my beard up pretty bad. <laughs>
probably no worse than it already is. Did you all know that this little piggy went to market doesn't mean that it went to town. Mm -hmm. It means it would have the food out of I didn't know that till the other day. It's become part of the food chain. All right. This little piggy this went to market. I heard some good nasty old people jokes, but I can't remember them. None of them. Who was that? Well, about that? Well, Who was what by? Cat was asking if somebody had read the wall. I don't know who that was. Who was the wall? say yes TRB great books did you read the short story the walk I don't know if it was a long walk or not <laughs> stupid babies oh okay the walk I don't remember that one. Birds have been going nuts here. They're just still breeding all year round this year. We've got magpies here with seemingly fresh babies. My, my finches the other day had fresh babies. That's how awesome our winter's been so far. The birds are so confused. They're just going to keep breeding. Wow. If I can remember when Sarah comes back, I'm going to ask her if she wants the Mama Carmen you know. If what? Oh, if there you go. The Mama Carmen you know. I've been following her. I think that's awesome stuff. Sarah's back. You can ask her. Oh, there she is. I posted a link to the channel. Uh, Mama Kerr, K E R R, in our private chat. 
and I wondered if you saw it maybe a week ago. Where is it posted? In our, like, the chat. In, in that one? Related, yeah. okay, let me go and have a look because I'm bad at messages. Let me have a look. <laughs> Was it that mic up one? Yeah. I thought yeah, you might be interested in it with the art. Your oh. art. It might that give you some ideas too. She's done several more since then, but she is pretty I'm cool. I'm learning a What are you doing? What the hell? Oh, it's on the Come on. Uh -uh, don't get in the jar. Come here. Come on over here. <laughs> He's causing trouble. Hi there. Hi there. It's just bedtime tree. Come on. Let's take you over here. Go over there. Good boy. An old GRB. Classic. I'm not sure. I now feel lost what I'm looking for. Um, but also, Pam, is your daughter okay? I've only just looked at the group chat just now. But also, I saw. That one at the you thought what? Is your daughter okay? Yeah, yeah, she's sore, but yeah. She broke All up right. a dog fight. She broke up a dog fight with her hand. <laughs> oh, yeah. I told her next time use a hose, especially since yeah, they were right. actually outside. Yeah. Just turn on a hose, turn a hose on them, and that'll break it up. Um, but so I'm looking for something from Bob, but which is it? Because there's a lot of things in here. I haven't been looking on here. I'm sorry. But I did warn okay. everyone I'm not good at doing messages. Uh, so I think you saw it. It was the lady who does like full body makeup and stuff. Oh, that one. But I did react to that one already. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. That well, was amazing. She's pretty cool. But, and it's like one thing. And there's like, and the next, and the next, and the next, and the next. And the next, and the next. That yeah, was, was phenomenal. Overwhelming, almost. No, that was great. But am I seeing in this right, Bob, that you are, it's just a blank piece of paper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's nice, Donald. Oh, here come the rainbow lorikeets. I shouldn't have put bread and butter pudding out for them. I like that one. Did you? Mm -hmm. I think that's the one that I love. Was the one? Well, it's just interesting because the last I saw, you were talking about one. I was saying, "Oh, sorry, that one sold." And now yeah. I'm looking back. You said, "Oh no, it was this one." And it turns out this one it was just sitting on my pile on the top of my pile, actually. Yeah. Messing with Sam. I knew he got him. That's really the one. So it was all a joke, and I didn't get it until now. Once I found that one, I knew that's what it, that it was. That <clears throat> I had to go way back to find it, though. Well done. Huawei, well, did you see the Good Omens show? That's a very good uh, version of Neil Gaiman work. Yeah. Good Omens is like a good sort of melding between two brilliant minds. Um, but then what's the other one that they're doing like a... American gods. No, to do with the um, to do with the good omens, but it's like um, I can't remember anymore what it is. I have to look it up. But it was exciting. But yeah, I really like Neil Gaiman as well. Uh, clearly, BJ Palmer hasn't 
heard me vocalise my opinion on Rainbow Lorikeets before. Rats. Rats. Well, yeah, well, the one who put out the bread and butter put in my key. Yeah, but that's uh, oh, okay, it's so cute. Nice. They sure are pretty. Yeah, they're bloody noisy. I like the the hash the hashing like look on it. Where it looks like you're kind of like looking through it almost. That oh, looks pretty cool. Yeah, well, lots of pieces lately are having that. That's like um. This yeah, guy, that one. That one's got it too. Yeah, that was pretty neat. I like that effect. But also all of them, even like the crow. Yeah. And that looks pretty good on the color. That's wicked. Nice. Yeah. I bet it does. Um, are you, are you going to auction stuff, uh, Pam's next auction? Monday. I didn't want to say that since you hadn't announced it. Is that tomorrow? For you it is, yeah. Hmm. Tomorrow yeah. I'm at work. It'd be the next day for you. Yeah, it'll be our Tuesday. Which you'll be yeah. Tuesday, yeah, that's right. Okay, Tuesday, I'm at work. I'm work Monday and Tuesday. Oh, I like those guys. You can more than welcome to send me pictures again. And if that's I was just going to say, send Blackie some pictures of some so stuff. So I should, but also the last time I sent him pictures, and admittedly I didn't do it until I was at work, and it created a whole thing. Well, we have the picture that was already sold and stuff. I, I really, what I also like about this one is that it's called Sweet Candy. That's pretty cool. What is it called? Sweet Candy. I thought it said Danny Carey. That's how good my eyes are. Danny no. Carey, the drummer from Pool. Yes. This is true. But... So, I've actually got a really nice collection of um, paint swatch art here. There are like six. Um, can I recommend that you throw a bundle together in an email and send them all to me in one email instead of messenger pictures which may get compressed and not pretty looking if you want to sell stuff on the tuesday monday america time <laughs> yeah i'll try <laughs> Boo. <gasps> Boo. That's beautiful. Here we go. Sarah, when I get some money, I'll talk to you about that one. That, uh... <laughs> Oh, that one. Yeah. Yes, we go. Why? Oh my gosh. I don't know why I decided to have to have a computer after not having one for three years. I am. No one can tell, and my dog just comes up to cuddle the difference. But she's like so different, and without giving away too much, I like identify with this feeling. This is what I also um, experienced. 
it's just like the silkiest, softest, neediest little creature. We should come. Him up our way. See if he's him. He probably gets asked ten times a day if he's Stephen King. Who does? Uh, Huawei says there's a dude that lives in his town. He sees at the shops that looks like Stephen King. And it's not Stephen King. He's just being too yep. frightened to ask. Too shy. Young Stephen King or old Stephen King? I think it's easy to avoid the Sarah confusion too, people, because most people just call us Gunji, not Sarah, and Nonna gets called Sarah. But if you're too concerned about getting confused, then just make blanket statements that apply to both. Easy fix. Old Steve. Yeah, he does live in Maine. The real Steve. Also, yeah. Other Nonna was uh, other Nonna, other Sarah. <laughs> There's only one Nonna here. Um, was talking before about when Stephen King got hit by a drunk driver. Oh yeah. And then said that the dude, the drunk driver dude, or oh, distracted driver, it said on the police report. She's also said he died in his home, and they didn't find him for several days. I wonder, did he die that night while he was distracted, or is it just a separate incident? That whole story, I don't know. It just went like... It was like being hit by a bunch of, like, cars in the headlights, and you're, like, trying to, like... I have no idea what just happened. Sorry. Uh, it was later, she said. Not not the same night. Sam, you should get some um, pictures of it and share them on here. Some what? Some pictures of the Stephen King doppelganger. Yeah, just next time you see him in the shops, just rock up and say, can I get a selfie? Already holding your phone out. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> You did such a good job on that, Sam. Really good. He's doing threads. Ah. Oh, I signed up only so that I could claim my own name. Sensible. Well, guys, what do you think? Should we call it a night? Yeah, why not? 
no one wants yeah, to know what like I am two, working two on. Two and a half hours, so. And then we'll stream again on Monday night and do an auction. Monday night. Okay, you got to hold it up for a while, Sarah, so we can actually see something besides just your quick flash of pink. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. Everyone loves a quick flash of pink. <laughs> I was trying to leave that one alone. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Very cool. Oh, wait. I want to see the, the crow again. I love that crow. Yeah, can you gonna... can you put scan that um crow one and put it in uh threadless as well, please? I reckon that'd sell bulk. No. Even if it's just a small patch in the middle or, <coughs> pardon me, off to the side somewhere. Ah, I see. So have you been working on something, Blackie? Um, no, nothing. I mean, I worked on a picture that I started last night, but I don't like it and I don't want to show it. Ah, okay. I'm not going to show mine yet either because I'm still kind of working on it. Bob, are you going to show us what you worked on? Oh, yeah, and you can see I wasn't lying. Um, this is my first attempt at mountains, and I didn't have like a, um, what am I, like like a putty knife kind of thing. What's that called? Not a spatula. Yeah. yeah, but then after I realized I hated it, I did some practicing with. How it nice. Hey. No, it's not. I like that. I ruined it, but I mean, I was just trying other things. Yeah, I did find my. It looks really cool, Bob. I think I that one looks really good. Enough. Then I went to this, thinking bigger would be better, and that was really messed up. So I just left it. So no, I that back, that small I, one is good. Oh yeah, that's. Cool. I went back back to what I like to do and mess that up even so. Anyway, I've just been doing one night mostly. Show us that first one again. That is actually pretty cool, Bob. It, it's actually very good. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love that. that you, it actually it's very actual cool. shading and stuff on it. It's really good. Yeah. No, oh, yeah. see all the smudges where I was cleaning the brush and stuff. It's yeah, but it looks, it looks yeah. really good. It looks really good. Well, Nature's thanks. full of smudges, Bob. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. That was better than the second one I tried. So, anyway. See you, TJ. Night, TJ. I'll see you later. Um, later, TJ. Yep, we're just getting ready to shut down the stream anyway, so good timing. So, okay. I think that's everything. And thank you, everybody, for coming in. And thank you. Cat and thank you, Grasshopper, for modding. And thank you, everybody on the panel. Thank and you for having us. We will see everybody Monday night. Bye, guys. Bye. Good night. Good night. Oh, crikey. I had to get a crikey in before we finished. I don't think I got one in during the yep, stream. Yes, you did. I haven't clicked the button yet. <laughs>